hubbub of Chicago, Michigan Avenue, right in the heart of the great city of Chicago as we welcome you to the Windy City. On Elvis night, all kinds of, <laughs> you gotta love it. The whole family coming out as the king here tonight. So we welcome you to Mariner Baseball from Chicago against the White Sox. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. We are ready for action and what a very, very impressive pitching matchup we have tonight. Chris Sale against Felix Hernandez. And leading off for the Mariners being Leona Smart team. Sale brilliant in eight innings got a no decision July 18th back in Seattle against the Mariners. Here's your first pitch of the ball game. And strike one banged up by Vic Carapazza the home plate umpire Paul Emmel at first John Hirschbeck at second and DJ Rayburn at third. Broken bat ground ball to the second baseman Saladino. There's one away. And we'll take a look at the rest of the lineup for the Mariners. Robinson Cano hitting third tonight. His 29th home run on the season and last night's ball game hitting 273 overall against Chris Sale. Nelson Cruz, he's the one with the numbers against Sale. 368 with a couple of home runs for Nelson Cruz and changes in the lineup. Mike Zanino will move up and hit fifth in the game tonight. For Sale on the season, the 15 game winner, 15 and 6, a 315 ERA, 165 strikeouts over 38 walks. Opponents hitting 219. Guillermo Heredia playing in his 16th game the big leagues. 76 degrees. A little more sun. Still shining here as Heredia behind quickly. Well, we've been talking a lot about Chris Sale. The fastball, again, he'll be in the mid 90s with his fastball and the slider, but that was a pretty good changeup. He will use his changeup to the right handed hitters. Just doubled up on the changeup down and away from Heredia. Now Paul Emmels and he did not go. That funky delivery and that velo. It's a long night. It is a long night especially if you're a left handed hitter with the, with the arm angle. And the velocity with the big sweeping slider. Found back sale 27 years old out of Lakeland Florida. Can tell you when you look at the aces, they'll tell you that they're not aware of who's on the other side and they don't care about that. They're going up against the lineup, they're aware. Sell 97 miles an hour here in the first. 2 2. Breaking ball, get him. Two down. Take a look at the defense for the White Sox. Adam Eaton in right field. He leads Major League Baseball with 17 outfield assists. Tim Anderson had a good night at shortstop for the White Sox. Plenty of range and a strong throwing arm. Omar Narvaez getting to start behind the plate. He's yet to throw out a, a base stealer 0 for 7 so far this year. For Chris Sale against Oakland. We'll see what he did in his last outing. It was a good one. Eight innings, three hits, did not give up a run. He did have three walks and that one had eight strikeouts. Robinson Cano going up there, hacking immediately. Six for 22 against Sale. And I like that early in the game. And I think you get after his fastball as quickly as you can, especially if you're hitting from the left side, because that slider will be tough to deal with if you're a left handed hitter. Bouncing ball. Bray flips to Sale. And a one, two, three first. He needed just 10 pitches. To get things going here in Chicago, the King, Felix Hernandez, is going to take them out when we come back.
Happy Felix Day, everybody. They could use a win tonight. Let's see how Felix and who Felix will be facing in this White Sox batting order. It'll start with Adam Eaton. Adam Eaton was on base three times last night and ended up scoring a couple of runs. So you want to keep him off the bases. Jose Abreu, hot month of August, hitting right around 380 for the month, two for four in last night's ball game. And then Todd Frazier hitting fifth, two hits, three RBIs, including the game winner in last night's ball game. For Felix on the year, eight and four record, 110 in the third. 96 strikeouts over 46 walks. Want to stay away from the walks, especially in this ballpark. Opponent's hitting just 218 against Felix. And look at the defense. Heredia will get the start in left field. Gutierrez out and right. Sean O'Malley, third day in a row that he's going to get the start at third base. And Mike Zanino will do the catching tonight. Here we go. And Eaton slashing away. I think that's going to be a theme in this one. With Chris Sale and Felix on the mound, I think both clubs, as far as the lineups go, are going to be very aggressive. Particularly early. Yeah, early in the count. An easy play for Heredia. One down. I was watching Heredia get his work in today during batting practice, and he was going through some fielding drills. And he really does a nice job of doing everything fundamentally correct. On the fly balls, when he was throwing into second base, he made sure he was getting behind all of them. Fielding the ground ball, nice crow hop, straight throw, everything on one on a line, one hoppers. Really working hard on his fundamentals. Good angles. Great angles. I mean, he really did a nice job. It was fun to watch. It's Tim Anderson. Line drive, base hit. As previously discussed, early in the count, early and often. First pitch fastball at 92 miles an hour. Anderson three for four last night. A couple of runs scored in an RBI. Felix three pitches. And they've attacked all three. It's Jose Abreu. Talked about how difficult it has been here for the Mariners since 2008, a 7 and 26 mark. Felix here at USL with a nine starts, a one and five record, a 4-5-0 ERA. Trying to turn that around. Runner goes, got a good break, and that ball slammed foul. Felix's win. Here in this ballpark came back on April 28th, 2009. Eight innings and four hit shutout ball, one walk and nine Ks. April 28th of 09. Since then, 0 and 3, two no decisions and a 5 4 6 ERA. Okay. 1 1 to Abreu. Bouncing ball of Malley. It's a fair ball. He'll take the out at first. Abreu. Two down. And a smart play for Sean O'Malley. Again, this is his third start in a row at third base. Anderson really runs well. He took a peek at it. I don't think he was going to be able to get him at second. Long throw across the diamond to retire Abreu. Kyle Seeger. Sounds like he's available to pinch hit, probably in the lineup tomorrow. It'd be great to have him back in the lineup. Sean O'Malley is filled in nicely at third. Anderson, good speed at second base. Two outs, Justin Morneau. DHing today. More Felix on the year. His average fastball at 90 miles an hour. And his last couple of outings, we've seen. His fastball right around 93, which I also think has helped his changeup, throwing his changeup down out of the strike zone. His chase percentage has really gone up over his last five outings. Dr. Morno before the game said, always a challenge. You want to face the best. Felix right there, obviously. He's up for the challenge. It's interesting tight he and Adam Eaton talking about man, talking about the pitching matchup. How excited they were to see these two guys go head to head. 2 0. Well, Mariners have the shift on with more no hitting. So Marte on the right side of the diamond. You can see Cano well out onto the grass towards right. 
And you're right about that, Dave. I think as a position player, if you're in this game, you get a chance to play this game, you're excited about it because you know it's going to be intense. Probably a low scoring affair if both pitchers are on their game. Two one pitch. Three and one. One oh seven for forty career with a homer. Just Todd Frazier on deck last night's hero for the White Sox. Three one. Nice play by O'Malley. Very well done. Runner stranded in the first. Couple All Stars on the mound tonight. No scores. We go to the second inning. Big catch. We get to it early, and O'Malley. Some nice moves down at third base. Really good glove work from O'Malley. And again, when you get into this type of pitching matchup, you have to do all the little things. And Sean does a nice job of giving ground, able to stay with it. Tricky hop, and then a strong, accurate throw to get Felix off the field and not give up a run. So they're going to have to play some good defense tonight. But a fine play by O'Malley. Elvis Knight here. At the phone booth, U.S. Cellular Field. Nelson Cruz going to lead it off. Seven for 19, two homers against Chris Sale career. <laughs> Conversation with Adam Eaton. He was marveling at how Sale last few years has been pumping 95 to 97. A lot of times this year, you see him taking it off, throwing that BP 90, pitching to contact and having a lot of success. And then when he needs that 97, 98, look out. Time now for a course like old hard facts and Chris Sale, Chris Sale against lefties. Before the All Star break, look at that 212, and then since then, good luck. Not that 212 was exactly banging, <laughs> knocking no. the walls down. No, but a 138 batting average yeah. and not giving up an extra base hit. Ooh. Impressive. Here's Mike Zanino. Throwing his changeup quite a bit here early on. Quick worker. 0 oh 2. So far, he's topped out at 97 miles an hour. Just 10 pitches in the first inning for him. Five for five of first pitch strikes. Working from that third base side of the rubber. Angle wise, how's that helping him against righties? Well, it helps him get the fastball in on their hands when he wants to. That was a pretty good slider. <laughs> Two outs. Take a look at it. 
well located down out of the strike zone. That's exactly where he wanted to get it. You can see him. Three quarter delivery, maybe just a little a tick below that. Something else I've noticed from him early on. He, he appears to be working really fast so oh, far yeah. at the start of this game. Franklin Gutierrez looking to break it 0 for 15 and in a slump, to say the least. And you look at the Mariners against left handed starters on the year they have struggled. Below 500. Here's Franklin Gutierrez to get it going again. He's somebody that can certainly help them. 18 and 26 record against lefty starters. 1 0 pitch. That herky jerky motion, it's got to be murder picking up the release point. It is, and, and the size of him. He's tall, he's really tall and lanky, so he's kind of slinging it at you and almost cross firing. Six foot six of Buck 80. That's charged up pretty nicely. Deep right center field. Goody has broken his 0 for 15. And he will hold. It's a home run. It came back. But it bounced off the fence. That's a way to break an 0 for 15. Franklin Gutierrez is 12th home run, RBI number 30. And there's a big run. Sometimes you look at a matchup first team, the one can win it. His 10th home run against left handed pitching this year. And he gets a fastball, 96 miles an hour, middle away, and it's down. That makes it a little bit easier to get the barrel to it. And Franklin Gutierrez has tremendous power to right center field. It's enough of it to clear the fence. Nice job by Goody. Adam Lind. Way out front. Adam 0 for 1 against Bruce Sale. Goody just when the Mariners needed him. It's a big moment here and an early lead. Riding one out of here. Lynn hits it hard and foul. Goody's last home run was on the sixth of this month against the Angels. And ball to the second baseman Saladino in short right. Home run by Gutierrez. Mariners have a one nothing lead here in Chicago. It's the key to facing Chris Sale. You have a little bit better view 
as a right-hander because of the angle of the of the lefty. But it doesn't mean that you know it's going to be easy. So um, you know you have to be smart, trying to get on counts, and try to you know look for your pitch to hit. And, and that's pretty much what we're going to do today. How do you tune out kind of that funky delivery that he has? Yeah, that's something that probably uh, you have to take away from him, you know, because uh, if you watch all his movement, it can get you crazy, you know. So you have to pick a point where he delivers the ball and uh, and just watch that, that release point and and and, uh, and look for your pitch. That's pretty much it. There's not much that we can do about his delivery. Goody came in two for ten against Sale. Paul Emel sits inside Frazier. It is cleared. 3-0 the count. Frazier, first time he saw Felix back on Wednesday, July 20th, in a home run, a three-run shot in the first inning. In foul ball. And you know, we talk about it all the time. Felix against Mike Trout. Mike Trout likes that low ball. Frazier, Jersey guy like Trout, he and Trout are friends. Said he spent a lot of time, Frazier, watching how Felix attacks Trout. Draws a walk here. But he had that initial success against Felix and one of his buddies' video to see how he can get on not get on that parade. He make a deposit and join the club with a 2017 Mariner season ticket. Gonna have the chance to test drive your seat location for a game this year to check out the great view plus. You're going to experience great benefits, including access to special events, discounts, and more. For more season ticket info, go to mariners.com slash 17. Omar Narvaez, catcher. He's traded Deanna Navarro to Toronto. Alex Avila activated. This is a switch hitter. And we talk about Chris Sale. And I think Franklin's right. If you can get yourself into some good counts. But I know, and I've talked to Edgar about this too, when I faced Randy Johnson, I think you have to get after the fastball early. And if you get a good fastball to hit, don't miss. And it helps if it's down just because of the velocity at which it's at. And that's exactly what Franklin Gutierrez ended up doing. And here and I were talking about when Sale was in Seattle, and it was just you just not want to have to deal with that slider. I got Frazier hung up. That helps. Sure does. Think of Frazier. Watch Felix when he goes to throw this. He gets him running back to first. That's exactly what you want to do. But then he gets a lot of air under the throw. And I thought Frazier was going to be able to make it into second base. But after that, it's well done. Adam Little put the tag on him. Count but goes one, three, six, three. Fortunately for Felix, he's paying attention. I'm sure the infielders let him know that he took off early and he stepped off the mound first. You're right about that air ball, too. That could have been costly. Thought he got away with one. Ball and two strikes, one out. Narvaez, the hitter, and he looks a pitch outside. I think the other thing in this game, watching Frazier try to steal in that situation, is typically when you have a pitching matchup like this one, you're going to take a few more chances because runs are so difficult to come by. It's tough to put a bunch of hits together to score runs, so you're going to see managers bunt, hit and run, try to steal a little bit more. It goes to DJ Rayburn. Arve is gone. First strikeout for Felix. And it's the changeup. Down out of the strike zone. Not able to check his swing. That's something that we've seen from Felix in his last three outings is the chase percentage going up on his changeup out of the strike zone. Felix now 21 pitches, 11 strikes. Up Avisail Garcia, the left fielder. Mm -hmm. 
Garcia in last night's game. First inning RBI single to right. Pitch just disappeared. One on one. Given the short bullpen tonight, Mike, seven, eight innings would be nice from the king. I think that's the expectation. And if you look at his work lately, he went eight innings in his last out. He pitched into the seventh, the one before that, seven innings, eight innings. So he's been getting deep into the ball game. We've talked about it. For Scott Service, it makes it a little bit easier. And I think it's one of the reasons why he went to the back end of his bullpen early in yesterday's ball game. Tom Wilhelmson pitching in the sixth. Look at the innings. Pitch more than seven per ball game. I love that opponent's average at 167. That is good to see. Sparkling to say the least. They look six time All Star Cy Young Award winner in 2010. Thing too, he likes his mantelpiece that he's on. His, well, he has built up in his career what he means to this ball club and his franchise. Did he go? No, he didn't. Full count. But he's got the broad shoulders and he can he can wear it. He wear, wears it well in terms of the responsibility. Hey man, we need you deep tonight. He's aware of that. Certainly more than capable. And I think that that is something that inspires him. He understands what the situation is. Three and two. Struck him out. Good ride on that 91 mile an hour fastball. Couple of strikeouts for the King. Gets a pick off of Todd Frazier. One nothing, Mariner Lee. All right, Brett, thank you. Sean O'Malley leading off, followed by Cattel Marte. Look out. Oh, jeez. They do not. They're going to get on first base. You do not need to see that, especially with Kyle Seeger not available. Mm. It's always scary when it's around your hands. It's going to square around, try to bunt for a base hit. Pulls the bat back, and it's more of the wrist of the forearm, it looked like. 92 miles an hour. 
That was the key in pulling the bat back and I squared him up pretty good when the ball ends up out in front of home plate. It's a direct hit. Sale. By the time he's hit a batter. All the Sox pitching double figures in that category. There you 92 go. 92 miles an hour. 62 times most in the American League. Narvaez again has not thrown out a base stealer. He's 0 for 7. And a lot of speed in the lineup for the Mariners with O'Malley now Marte Martin Heredia a lot of guys that can run top two and the bottom two in the order. Frazier in on the grass at third. Foul back by Marte. 0 for three in last night's game. It's a walk. This is written deep to left down the line got a chance and it's a foul ball. Today with just one homer came back on May 9th against Tampa Bay. He's out front of a changeup at 87 miles an hour and it caused him to hook the ball just a little bit and that's the reason why it ends up going foul. Chris Sale is trying to help his catcher out using a little bit of a slide step not the big leg kick that we're used to seeing from him. O2 pitch here to Marte. Back up the middle solid base hit for Cattel Marte as O'Malley hold at second. Wonderful start here to the third. Talking about being aggressive against Sale and three pitches three swings from Marte and then he finally squares up a slider he's trying to get it down into the dirt leaves it up out over the plate and he hits it hard back up the middle. Swing by Marte. 219 hitter right handed 286 left handed. Top of the order second time through Larry smart team. White Sox expecting the punt. The corner infielders playing in. The team with four sacrifices tied without Oakley with the team lead. Let's go check up. And everybody's safe. Well, we talked about it at the beginning of this game, and when you have this type of pitching matchup, fundamental things. Are going to be the difference, and this right here is a mistake by Frazier. He just assumed that Sale was going to field it. He started to head back to third. Watch Frazier. He reads it off the bat, and then he heads back to third. And that little bit of hesitation is the difference. Even if he picked it up cleanly, I don't think he was going to get Martin. So a break for the Mariners. Great setup here. Third inning, one nothing lead. Mariners have the bases loaded. Here's already. Puts it in play Anderson to Saladino over to Abreu for the double play run scores it's two nothing Mariners. O'Malley comes home. Moving to third is Marte. On that play with Frazier he was hoping to get the lead runner O'Malley if Sale were to field that ball. I think the problem is he has a lot of speed there would have been tough to get Sean he had a pretty good jump at second base too. The fact that it was in the air too probably messed him up because he thought maybe sale would have a good chance of getting it right. Well probably I think it was more the angle when it came off the bat so many times you set yourself up on that plane you know that you have the ball if it's directly to you or towards the line and that was more towards his left so he assumed that sale was going to field it and sell it. I don't think he left the dirt. Bobby Kuno, round about the first. 
Good count here, 2 0. Pull foul. And by Casey Candell, first base coach, Maniac at third. Nothing lead for Felix and trying to add to it. Two one pitch. Good slider. Robbie with six career hits against Sale. Just got enough of it to keep the at bat alive. Last four games, one and two with a no decision. Oh man, how did he get bad on that? Fastball, it's going to run up and in at 95 miles an hour. A bit of self defense there, especially if you're trying to hang in there for that slider. He's seen two sliders in a row, both of them right on the outside corner, and then he rushes that fastball. Up and in on him. Back of the battle. The point with this sale is fourteen and two this season. Swing and a miss. Big breaking ball. Harris pick up another run here in the third and have a 2 0 lead. Lead approach to the mound. Felix Hernandez talking with assistant and athletic trainer Rob Nodine. It was interesting, Dave, at the end of the second inning when he was walking off the field, he and Cano were having a conversation. And Robbie usually picks up on these kinds of things, but he's walking back in and you can see Cano knows that something isn't right. I'm not sure what it is, but he's talking to Felix about it. And Felix went out. To start this inning, and now you have Rob Nodine out at the mound with Cano keeping an eye on him. And I'm not sure what it was that he did, but clearly something was bothering him as he was walking off the field at the end of the second. And Cano noticed it because he went right to him. 
This is in the second inning at the end of the second inning. Robbie was saying something to him. You can see him shaking his head. Dr. Kyle Seeger there. Rob Nodine behind Kyle. Looks like he's going to try. Scott Service Mill Stonemeyer Jr. watching very closely and you can understand the alarmed look on their faces. Well, Felix has had some issues with his legs in the past, ankle, knee. Wonder if maybe something happened on the rundown and it started to bother him or, or what it was. They said whole month with the calf. The the calf, calf injury, calf. yeah. And we're gonna find out pretty quick because Shuck isn't afraid to drop down a bunt. He may try him. O'Malley in on the grass at third base. Eight, nine, and one coming up. Jimmy Shuck, Tyler Saladino, and Adam Eaton. Home run by Gutierrez and run scored on a double play. O'Malley creeping in at third. First pitch strike. Shuck 213, four homers. 14 runs batted in. Felix has dominated. One for 12. Concern here, that's for sure, after two good innings. Adam Lynn battles it. Safe. Oh boy. Yeah, and he was he was definitely limping on his way over to first base. Usually Felix gets over there in a hurry. He's excellent at fielding his position. And he was trying to get to first base. Got service down the top of the dugout, but that was not his normal gate to first base. It's off the mound. Ball hits him in the bread basket. You can see him kind of limping on his way over to first base. Close play. Base hit for Shuck. Let's see how effective Felix can be and how long can he go. Well, hopefully it's not that calf again. He missed a lot of time because of the calf injury. Nine hole hitter Tyler Saladino inside Saladino over for three last night with a walk. Felix on the DL May 28th activated July 20th so that's a lot of time that he missed. As we showed you earlier, his last four games has been really good. He's won his last four decisions. And he's looked really good tonight. A couple of strikeouts, ground ball outs. That's what you'd like to see from him. See him get off the mound and start back and forth running a shuttle. That's the last thing you want to see. Now Robin Ventura out of the dugout, probably questioning, did Felix step off the mound properly? Yeah, he's saying it was just a spin, but they didn't call anything. There was no balk called at all. No, he's fine. He's. I think he's in good shape there. He stepped off, and now everybody in the Mariner dugout just wants him to get rid of the ball. Yeah, you don't want any cartoon play out there. Well, you don't want him to get hurt. Ventura, a long conversation with home plate umpire Vic Carapazza. Back to back innings where the runner at first trying to take off early on Felix. He's able to get a ball. First it was Frazier and now Shuck. Meanwhile, a 1 1 count to Saladino. Last time you saw that back to back innings. Can't remember it. Me either. 
Fair ball, O'Malley. A little extra juice on that. Nice jab. John's been busy tonight. Already his third play working here. Just in the third inning. Couple of ground balls to him in the first, and now this one strong throw across the diamond. He has an excellent arm. Kyle Seeger, we expect to get him back tomorrow. Coming back off old bruise. Right foot. Top of the order, Adam Eaton. Pitch. Breaking ball one on one. I think right now for the rest of the game, Mike, just keep Felix on his piece of the real estate. Be all right. Yeah, I agree with that. Adam mean, we'd seen him in center field last year. He suffered shoulder. Problem diving for a ball and really cost him some time. Told me he's really enjoying playing right field. A lot less responsibility. He feels like he's on a dog and a leash sometimes. And whatever the center fielder does, he'll move according. He said, How'd you get he, so he many He knows the routine of that. Absolutely. And I said, How'd you get so many assists? He said, Well, with the shoulder problem, a lot of people didn't think I had anything left. And it's worked out well for me. Nice fella. Felix starting to get a pretty good feel for his curveball. Curveballs here to Eaton in this at bat. Oh, two strikes. The other thing, too, he said he hurt himself diving football. He said that looks good, but it's costing too many games. Yeah. At pitching spots, he said he gets on Kevin Pilar in Toronto all the time because we see Pilar playing Superman yeah. everywhere. He's going to catch up to you at some point. Well, he's been injured a couple of times. Fortunately, it hasn't been anything serious yet. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the third. Home run by Gutierrez in the second. A third inning run scored on a double bases loaded double play. And it applies the tag. He has gone. So are the White Sox. Third strikeout for the King. On the night they celebrate the late king, Elvis Presley, here in Chicago. Brought to you by BNSF, sponsor of the BNSF Blast by CHI Franciscan Health, the Mariners' official partners in health. Learn to stay Northwest healthy at nwhealthy.org. And by Safeco Insurance, find a local agent at safeco.com. Shadow of the Hancock Tower. On that building there as the Mariners have a 2-0 lead. Nelson Cruz leads off against Chris Sale here in the top of the fourth. 
Cruz, Zanino, and Gutierrez, four, five, and six. Coming up, Allen grounded out the second. First time up. Quick 0 2 hole. Purcell almost working at a Mark Burley pace. Started Nelson off with a changeup for a strike, and it's been back to back sliders. Ten White Sox left hander finished up with Toronto. Get it, throw it, get it, throw it. Sales pace not too far behind that. Breaking ball, that'll dunk in for a base hit. Fourth hit for the Mariners. Mariners RBIs, you know what? They matter both on and off the field. For every Mariners RBI during the 2016 season. Packard is going to make a donation to the Page Ahead Children's Literacy Program. Mariners thank Packard for their support in our community. Mike Zanino struck out on a 1 2 pitch. Field double play depth. Anderson and Saladino up the middle. Good discipline there by Mike Zanino. 2 0. There's strike two and one. A 2 1 pitch. Fly ball center field deep, plenty of carry. Going back, shot. Looking to locate. He dies right at the track, tagging his crews. And he's in safely to second. Thought maybe Mike had one right there. A little bit too high, though. A little bit too much air underneath it. A change up, maybe hit it off the end of the bat just enough to where it didn't have enough carry. Good base running by Nelson Cruz to tag up and get himself into scoring position with one out. Let's see how Sale approaches Franklin Gutierrez. Goody took him out right center field for a home run and the one nothing lead for the Mariners in the second inning. <laughs> Almost bumped into Paul Emma. The flags are blowing from left to right, and it did move on him a little bit. Had That's to make an adjustment. What a late on 96. Well, that time it was an elevated 96. The home run that he hit was on a fastball at the knees at 96 miles an hour. It's second one out. He's got a battle here behind 0 2. Ball one. Sale. There we go, one and two. In the dirt. Houston leads at home, 3 1 against Tampa Bay. Detroit, a 3 1 lead at home against the Angels. Baltimore getting pounded by the Yankees, 12 3, bottom six of New York. Yeah. 
Boston trailing at home 5 1 to Kansas City. Congratulations to Matt Moore of the Giants. Flirted with a no no into the ninth last evening, and Corey Seeker broke it up with a base hit. Yeah, two outs in the ninth. Arch man made a couple of fantastic catches. Two and two here to Goody. Struck him out. Two outs, fourth strikeout for sale. Time now for our Century Link. What's next? Final two games of this series. Ariel Miranda gets the start against Jose Quintana. Taiwan Walker against Carlos Rodon. Miranda's had some good moments for the Mariners. Adam Lynn, 0 for 1, ground out to second his first time up. Cruz at second, two outs. Breaking ball and missing ball one. Inside two and oh. another Gary Sanchez home run and a two run shot. For the Yankees. Twelve two lead against Baltimore, twelve three. Strike to Adam, he didn't like that call, but it's at the top of the zone, two and one. Basement Saladino in short right field. Shortstop Anderson pretty much up the middle. All right, 3 1 count, two out, runner at second. Sean O'Malley's on deck. If you're Lynn, what are we sitting on here? He throws, sales throwing 95 to 97 miles an hour. I think you have to stay with the fastball. If he throws a slider, you take it, but you do not want to miss the fastball. First three ball count for sale. They got the fastball, rides it a long way, slicing away from Chuck, not going to get it. Bounces off the fence, scoring easily is Cruz. Digging for second. Adam Lind, RBI double. Harris have a 3 0 lead for Lind, his 51st run batted in, his 13th double. 98 miles an hour trying to get it to the outside corner ends up in the middle of the plate. Glad I'm able to work his way into a good count and takes advantage of it. There's O'Malley hit by a pitch and scored. Back in the third. About back. Adam Lynn, that's his first hit against Chris Sale. He's one for three now. Good at bat. You know, I think for Adam, you, you get yourself into that situation where it's a good one for you in a 3 1 count, Dave, and just don't think it makes much sense to look for that slider because even if you get it, it's going to be difficult to square it up. Don't miss the heater. He was all over it, barreled it up nicely in the left center. 0-2 to Sean. Uh, he did go. This is Vic Carroll positive. Mariners had another run. Two hits. No errors. Leave a man. Got a 3-0 lead for Felix Hernandez.
Football brought to you by T-Mobile. Wonderful matchup here tonight. Felix Hernandez, Chris Sale. And these numbers are imposing, Mike. Well, you take a look at the changeup from Felix. It's been his go-to pitch for a number of years. And it's a good changeup tonight. And of course, Sale with that slider, 189 average. So the tops of the biz. Five time All Star Chris Sale, six time All Star Felix Hernandez. Felix has struck out three in his three innings. Sale in his four innings. His K five hasn't walked anybody. Felix has one walk. So pitches inside to Tim Anderson. Two, three, and four in the order Anderson, Abreu, and Moore. Two and oh. Just joining us a little scare coming into the last inning. Felix long consult with assistant head, head athletic trainer Rob Nodine. Pitching coach Mel Stottlemyre Jr. and manager Scott Service. They got through the inning. Didn't look like anything was ailing and a little bit of a limp trying to cover first base in a play. Right now, dropping in that breaking ball. Two and two. He's had a good curveball tonight to go along with his changeup. Strike three called. So Anderson going back to back case. Felix gives him four at the event. He just stayed inside, he wanted to stay on his hands the entire time, and that went on the inside corner. Movement on his changeup tonight. Still get guys coming up to you asking, "What the heck is that?" No, they, they want they want to know that it's a changeup for sure and not a split. And it's still, over the course of years now, I've been explaining to them it's actually a circle change and it is not a split. Broken bat ground ball to Marte. Two outs. Two outs here in the fourth. King's giving up no runs on two hits. And make safe go field. Your man cave for guys night out Saturday, September 3rd. Get a ticket, that first drink. Get it all for 35 bucks through this ticket special. Thanks to EQC. Go to Mariners.com slash guys for tickets and for more details. Justin Morneau grounded out to O'Malley. Play him as a dead pull hitter. O'Malley, the only defender on the left side. My ball left field towards the line and coming in is ready. Felix looking strong in that fourth inning. He's retired one, two, five in a row now. And he needed just nine pitches to get through the fourth.
Yep. Said the same thing last night. They got to keep it going. Trying to end a three game losing streak as Marte puts it in play to Saladino. And there's one away. Let's take a look at the Mariners calendar brought to you by Sleep Train. Three nothing Mariners. Saturday and Sunday games here, then go to Texas with three and then come home for a week. Big games here. The stretch drive as we move closer to the month of September. Texas, by the way, right now, Corey Kluber at Cleveland leads at Texas 3 0, bottom four. Arte. Make that uh, Martin bunted his way on. The bunt situation, first and second, bunted it. Third, little miscommunication between Frazier and Sale. Shows bunt here. One one. A little different lineup tonight. Martin and Heredia at the top. O'Malley and Marte at the bottom eight, nine, so four. Fastest guys in the ball club. He's going to hit sharply off of Abreu. Can he get it there? Nice play. Wasn't sure he was going to be able to recover in time. It's hit hard at him and it goes off the heel of his glove. Fortunately, it was a big enough hop to where he was able to use his glove. And Sale never quit on the play. He stayed with it. What about the big man making a turn here and an accurate throw all in one motion? That's pretty good. Well done. Tough break for Martin. Hit it hard. Brings up already. Struck out looking and bounced into a double play. Young outfielder Guillermo already. Sales thrown eight ground ball out so far tonight. 27 years old out of Lakeland, Florida. 4 0 against the Mariners, 2 2 2 ERA. Eight games, six starts coming into tonight. 1 2. Sale has had a good fastball tonight. He's topped out at 98 miles an hour. Pretty good changeup too, and he's used his changeup a little bit more than we're used to seeing. Sky to left. Shortstop Anderson finally gave way to Garcia, and Anderson was not going to win that collision. Ten pitch inning for Sale, three nothing Mariners.
Bank of America. Life's better when we're connected. And by Shag, where your friends live. The Bean at Millennium Park here in Chicago. Nice day here. Three nothing Mariners in the bottom of the fifth. Felix Hernandez dueling. Chris Sale. Todd Frazier. First pitch swinging pops it up foul. Frazier, Narvaez, and Garcia, five, six, and seven here for the Sox. The old pale hoods here in the fifth inning. Frazier did some damage last night. Mariner pitching. Baxson struck him out three times. His first three times up. Six swing and misses. Then he got a two run single in the seventh and won the game in the ninth. The single to left. We were talking earlier about change up and split finger fastball. Yeah. Run down the differences in applications and effects of. Both of those pitches. It's Felix spikes this one. Sure. I, I think that first of all, with Felix in his circle change, the way that he holds it is you have your thumb and your index finger, and you basically just touch the tips of your fingers together and hold the ball on the outside of that. That's how he holds his circle change up. On a split grip, you have your middle finger and your index finger, and you're going to spread your fingers as far apart as you can and get them on the outside of the two seams. And I think the biggest difference, and the reason why. Yeah. Mm, broken bat loop of base hit Todd Frazier. I think that the biggest difference why people think that Felix throws a split is because for Felix if his fastball is at 92 miles an hour his changeup is going to be at 89 and his changeup goes straight down. And that is the action of a split. It's going to be three to four miles an hour off the fastball and it's going to dive out of the strike zone. And it looks like a fastball to the hitter. Most changeups. At this level, at the major league level, most changeups, the pitcher wants it to be about 10 miles an hour off of their fastball. Felix, again, is only three miles an hour off, and it really doesn't move a lot as far as away from a left hand hitter. It's more downward. Now, he can make it do that. He can make the ball move away from a left if he wants to. Good stroke. Narvaez, base hit, first two men have reached. But that's the biggest difference between those two pitches. And that's the reason why most people are fooled on Felix in this change of thinking it's a split. He sells it with the arm speed. Same you have slot. to. Yeah, you have to. He's, he's one of the best at it. We could use a double play right now. I have a sale Garcia. Being a batter, he struck out of the 3-2 pitch in the second. Felix, who four plus, has four strikeouts, one walk. And the walk didn't hurt him back in the second when he picked off Frazier. Well, if he needs a double play, he's going to go to his change up. His changeup is hit on the ground 70% of the time. First time since the first inning. Sox have had a runner in scoring position. Strike one. He's able to get a strike on his changeup. That one he wanted to throw for a strike. I think if you see it again, it'll be down out of the strike zone. Fly ball. Goody pretty much in his tracks, backing up a little bit. Frazier tags, eases over to third. One down. MLB TV Premium, the number one live streaming sports service. Watch every out of market game live in HD. With over 400 supported devices and includes a free subscription to Ad Bat Premium, the number one app for live baseball. Blackout and other restrictions apply, so visit Mariners.com for details. At the corners, JB Shuck. Double play can get him out of trouble here in the fifth. Three nothing Mariners, a goody home run. Run scored on a double play with the bases loaded, an RBI by Adam Lind. RBI double. Lynn 
White Sox how many opportunities Anderson was at second base with an out in the first inning and now you have this situation for Felix so the White Sox 0 for 2 with runners in scoring position. Popped it back up this way. Or two to J.B. Shuck. Good elevated fastball right there at 91 miles an hour. I think he has him set if he wants to throw his change it down out of the strike zone. J.B. Shuck. Infield hit in the third, just his second career hit against Felix Hernandez. Field two. Line drive Cano throw to first double play got him beautifully done right on time through five Felix and the Mariners you're in game two of a four gamer in Chicago have a three nothing lead. Is presented by authority of the Seattle Mariners. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Elvis Knight here at the ballpark. It's about the second time in three years we've caught it here. Dave Valley joins us from back in our studios. And Val, your thoughts on uh, you as a catcher with your sharp eye? Your thoughts on Chris Sale so far at this point in the ball game? Hey Val, I just made the comment. I'll be curious to get your take on it as Cano pulls this ball foul with Felix and the elevated fastball. And I made the comment, will this be a good time to see that change up in the dirt? And it, it sounds like a simple thing, but when you talk about the dynamic between either Zanino or Ionetta who's doing the catching. You got runners in scoring position, and you're asking your pitcher to throw a pitch in the dirt. Good stuff. I look forward to hearing you and Brad Adam, Delta Airlines post game, Mariners post game show right after this ball game. Cano strikes out second time, and that's a sixth strikeout this evening for Chris Sale. I think Val is absolutely correct to facing Sale again. 
It's getting to the fastball early in the count. The key to all of that is not to miss it. You foul it off or you end up taking it. He will go to work on you. Tonight has been with his changeup and his slider. Starts Nelson off with the changeup down. Well, one, two, Nelson. Nelson Cruz, 333 batting average his last 18 games entering tonight. One for two, got a ground out to second of base hit on 0 2 pitch to right field. 2 0. There's a strike. Two strikes. Who's looking for its first multi hit game in this ballpark? And overall, the Mariners have struggled like crazy here since 2008, a 7 and 26 record. That's a little bit surprising to hear that. Mm hmm. He hasn't had a multi hit game in this ballpark. First time for everything. Two two pitch. The time up a fastball from Sale. No telling how far it's going to go. Friday night crowd here, Elvis night, fireworks coming up afterwards. Swing and a miss. Seven strikeouts for Sam. Time now for a Geico this date in MLB history. Take you back to 1939. That was the year of the World's Fair. NBC televised his first big league game at Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. Then in 02, MLB.com streams the first MLB game at Yankee Stadium. TV to internet in that space of time. I was proud to be first voice on MLB.com radio back, I think it was 99. Frank Zanino just missed a home run his last time up, hit it out to center field. Chuck was able to catch it right in front of the fence. What to do for Mike, try to keep this inning going. It's behind 0 2. Hale's got a strikeout, at least one strikeout in every inning tonight, except for the fifth. Felix has held Chicago to no runs on four hits. Aaron's got to sail three runs on five hits. A high. Aaron's a fair. A lot better so far in this game than they did July 18th back home and sell shut them out for eight innings. He got a no decision. Eighty six pitches, sixty three strikes. Two two pitch. Strike three call strikes out the side eight for the ball game. In his six innings work, Mariners have a three nothing lead.
Football on Root Sports being brought to you by Money Tree. Proud to make a donation of Mariners Care for every Mariners win. By Jack in the Box. Taste the all new Jack's Brewhouse Bacon Burger today at Jack in the Box. Limited time only at participating restaurants. And by CenturyLink, your link to what's next. Good look at the Hancock Tower. Top is uh, one of the uh, tallest buildings here in uh, the U.S. of A. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, Root Sports Crew. It looks looking good here as he pitches here in the sixth to Saladino. Saladino taking a look. Let's see if it blows back to him. It will not. Well, these guys came well prepared. They had checked the schedule. They saw that it was a King Felix day. He properly attired. Big cows on the cheeks. And an apple. No cotton candy tonight. Yeah, is that a Mike Cameron cap? He wore 44 with the Mariners, right? Yes, he did. Four home runs in this ballpark in one game. Really good guys in baseball. Mike Cameron. They're trying to start the wave. <laughs> Saladino bounced out to O'Malley at third in tight. Ball one. It looks so far just 64 pitches, 40 strikes for him. Two and two, whatever that leg issue was a couple of innings ago. Not a factor now, thank goodness. Yeah, I wonder if maybe it was a situation to where it just grabbed him a little bit and he was being careful and maybe somewhat concerned about it. But he seems to be fine now. Swing and a miss, got him. Strikeout number five for Felix. <laughs> Saladino takes the walk back. Coming up tomorrow, CenturyLink brings you what's next. Ariel Melinda against Jose Quintana. Quintana. Good left hander. 238 opponents batting average, and Miranda to be his fourth start. Had some good moments for the Mariner Ball Club. Adam Eaton. Goody for the catch, two down. You never know how it's going to go, Dave, but the White Sox have been very aggressive, and so far that's really played into Felix's hands. A little bit tougher for him to get his strikeouts. He has five in the game, but it's also getting some quick outs. It's the reason why he has 67 pitches as he works here in the sixth with a couple of outs. You're going to like that because that could bode well for getting him into the eighth inning. Tim Anderson, base hit to left and a strikeout looking one for two. Mariners also used four relievers in last night's ball game. Scott Service would like to see him go eight and turn it over to Diaz for the ninth. Martins got this taken care of. Nice, easy inning for Felix Hernandez in the sixth. Nine pitches. The court is three outs of a three nothing lead.
Rail stations on Capitol Hill or at the UW for the best seats in the house. Plan your trip at soundtransit.org. There's the L here in Chicago. It's Maris, good looking line score. Three nothing. They get a home run from Goody in the second. Run scored on a bases loaded double play in the third. And RBI double Adam Lind in the fourth. Speaking of Mr. Gutierrez, here he is leading off. It'll be Goody, Lind, and O'Malley. Top seven here in Chicago. Mariners looking to end a three game losing streak. They've lost four of the last five. Dwindling days of August. Good two to Franklin. More good news. Chris Sale now at 90 pitches. 90 pitches, 66 strikes. Back into their bullpen when they have a lead. It's pretty tough, but the rest of it has struggled this year. Three call. That's four consecutive strikeouts for Chris Sale. He's got nine on the ball game. He's one away. Here in the seventh, there's an AL West showdown set. It's going to take center stage, St. Go Field. Mariners and the Rangers. It starts on Monday, September 5. It's a huge four game series. Both teams got the sights on playing October baseball. So be a part of it. Get your tickets at Mariners.com. Here's Adam Lynn. 3 1 pitch. Last time up, double to left center field. Picked up a run. Here's a look at the Delta Airlines keep climbing standings in the West Rangers trailing at home to Cleveland three nothing. Mariner seven back in the last column Houston three two lead over Tampa Bay middle of the sixth in Houston. And another good count for Adam Lynn two and oh. Fastball in the middle. Two one pitch. Way out from the break. See why this guy's so tough. He does have a home ERA at 4.01. Overall 3.15 starting tonight. Breaking ball got him looking. Five consecutive strikeouts, ten for the ball game. The last three Ks have been looking. It's a slider. Home plate umpire says it caught the inside corner. Looked like it was a little bit in. He gets the call. Sales had 10 or more K's and four of his seven career starts against the Mariners. Malley. Long foul ball. Yeah, in front of a changeup. And Sale is one of the things he's mixed up on the Mariners tonight. He's throwing his changeup more. Side one one. Tell Marte's on deck. Robin Ventura in his fifth season as manager. He's White Sox. Don Cooper, pitching coach to your right. Say one at that. Two and two. Two two pitch swing and a miss How about this back to back inning striking out the side. He's got 11 keys on the evening. The good news though the Mariners lead it three nothing.
that imagination right now because you need to be ready if you win Washington's lottery play today. Oh, Sox fan right now there. Yeah, he could give us a smile there. Mariners lead at 3 0. Mariners have a lead here against Chris Sale, who all of a sudden has just got on fire. He struck out six consecutive hitters, got 11 for the ball game. Felix hadn't been too shabby either. Economical through six with 69 pitches, five strikeouts, one walk. The walk didn't hurt him. Got a Brayum, Morno, and Frazier coming up here in the home seventh. Yeah, an important inning for Felix to get through the middle of the lineup. Brayum today's rounded out to third, rounded out to short. Felix now at 70 pitches. Good pitch count for him. 70 pitches, 43 strikes. On a one to a Brayum. Couple places of a lot of runs being scored. Toronto 15 5, bottom seven against Minnesota. And Yankees 14 3, top nine in New York. Swinging a miss of Brayo. The count goes to one and two. 25,651 on hand here. Fireworks night, Elvis night. Paratroopers. Flew in with the first pitch tonight. And there's a little loop that goes to right field for Abreu, just his second career hit against Felix. Don't forget to stick around after the game. Mariners post game comes your way. Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines. Brett Adam and Dave Bally. Jim Miller from here in Chicago. Some post game comments and reacts, and also get an update on Kyle Seeger's status. Word is. Got a real good chance of starting tomorrow's ballgame. Justin Morneau, the hitter now 0 for 2. Five. Hits for the White Sox, all of them singles. On that last base, it kind of an excuse me swing on a fastball in the inside corner at the top of the strike zone. A looping base hit into right. Should be two. There's one. And there's two. Perfectly timed second double play turn tonight. Yeah, only took him one pitch in the at bat again. The White Sox have been very aggressive with Felix all night and it's really played into his hands. Big reason why his pitch count is so low. Starts him off with the changeup. We've talked about his changeup gets hit on the ground 70% of the time. And that one turns into a double play. Who's up Ted Frazier? Walk and then get picked off, and a broken bat loop at the center. The second time up. Cano joining Marte left side of the infield. There's the deployment against Frazier. 31 homers, 80 runs batted in. Skips up there, two and one. Two outs here in the seventh, a 2 1 pitch to Frazier. Felix picking up where he has left off in his last four starts. Been outstanding. Look at the strikeouts 30 over 12 walks. He's got five strikeouts tonight, one walk. And you have to like the Tim team record at 4 0. Count runs full on Frazier as this one gets out of play. Chase Detroit. 
4-2 lead at home top of the ninth against the Angels. Houston 3-2 at home against Tampa Bay. Pitch from Felix. Perfect change up. 3-2 count. Typically he wants to throw his change up over the plate and have it dive out of the strike zone to get a swing and a miss. But Frazier able to get just a piece of it. Three two pitch. And he just got a piece of it. Okay, back with the change up again. Pretty good battle. Eighth pitch coming up. That's ridden high, deep and gone. Home run, Todd Frazier. His 32nd RBI number 81. Socks on the board. Felix was trying to go down and away with a fastball. You can see he's not happy with himself. Location wasn't there. It was in the middle of the plate. Middle, middle. 32 home runs on the year for Frazier. Take a look at it. Zanino set up on the corner, and you can see where that pitch is, right in the middle of the plate. Frazier with his 32nd home run ties Nelson Cruz. Fourth place in the American League. Trumbo started tonight. Tops in the league with 38, Encarnacion with 35, Chris Davis with 33. Omar Narvaez, the catcher, strike out and base hit to right. Second homer, Frazier's hit off of Felix. Too much question about that. Out of play. Felix giving up his 13th home run. Felix now at 85 pitches, 54 strikes. No stirring in the Mariner pen. One two pitch. Chop foul. Felix trying to be the embodiment of the stopper. Has lost three consecutive ball games, four in the last five. You can see he's been really efficient. A few more pitches here in this inning. Here's the one two. Marte will take care of it. Home run by Frazier. It's the Sox on the board. Mariners lead it three to one.
not close, but I'm a huge Elvis fan. He, the real Elvis. God rest his soul. <laughs> Especially the pre the uh, the pre army days when it was in really good voice. Could tell Marte broken bat pop up. Anderson's got it. So one down here in the eighth against Chris Sale that breaks a string of six consecutive strikeouts <laughs> taking a game like never before when a new and four legged friend join us at the park in the park night coming up on Tuesday September 6th get a seat for both you and your dog a Mariners leash plus take a trip around the bases post game details at Mariners dot com slash park last time we did that it was a 15 inning game and folks not all the dog owners stayed, but a lot of them did and still took the tour around the bases. A game that went almost four hours. 0 2 here to Martin. Yankees beat Baltimore 14 4. That's a final. And Martin pulled badly. That's a dozen strikeouts for sale. And he is now at 106 pitches. Here's a look at our Delta Airlines keep climbing standings wild card edition Orioles lose Mariners wind is going to do them good gonna hold on here and Boston needs at least four in the bottom of the ninth to tie their ball game. Ready to Anderson. Efficient inning for Chris Sale. He needs seven pitches for his three outs. King's going to come out for the eighth. 3 1 Seattle. Against Chris Sale. They have a 3 1 lead as you look at the line score for tonight's ball game here at U.S. Cellular Field. And coming up tomorrow, Century Lake brings you what's next Ariel Miranda and Jose Quintana. Sunday, Taiwan Walker and Carlos Rodon. Felix Hernandez, this is what he has done. He's pitched efficiently here tonight. Only blemish, a home run by Frazier. Yeah, it's 87 pitches. I have a feeling it's been I think three days maybe four days since Diaz has pitched if he gets in any trouble at all I wouldn't be surprised to see Diaz get up here in this inning even though it's just the eighth. And the sale Garcia to lead it off. Finds a whole right side base hit. Sixth hit for Chicago. Again, being aggressive, first pitch fastball. It's well located on the outside corner at the knees. If you're wondering about Diaz, last time he pitched four days ago against the Yankees. 
brings up J.B. Shuck. Infield hit, lined into a double play. Three of the seven Sox hits have come on the first pitch. Shock the center fielder for the White Sox who come in with a record of 61 wins, 65 losses. Fourth place in the Central Division behind Cleveland, Detroit, and Kansas City. And ahead of Minnesota. Felix looking for just the second win here at U.S. Cellular. First one came back on April 28th, 2009. Chris Beck is getting loose last inning. What a curveball. Yes, it was. Ball and two strikes. Oh. Like marquee pitching matchups, this has been a good one. Two pitch here. Cano flip. There's one. They won't get two, but a nice job by Robbie Cano get the lead runner. Getting up like old folks. They feel shaking off. Well, you feel that way when you're in the lineup every day. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Had to make a little bit of an adjustment. Looks like his knee sticks in the ground a little bit on him and just wants to get the ball quickly to Marte. Shuck runs well, center fielder for the White Sox, so no chance to turn two, but at least they get the lead runner. Robbie Smith set out just one game. Now Stottlemyre on the phone. We'll see who ends up getting up in the bullpen for the Mariners. Tyler Saladino, 0 for 2 of the ground out. And a strikeout. Yes, yeah, that's what I expected. Diaz getting loose. In good shape here against Saladino 0 and 2. Socks in this current homestand 4 and 2. Played a little bit better in their last 15 games. They're 9 and 6 entering this evening. Strikeouts, one walk for Felix. Only run given up, seventh inning. Solo blast by Tad Frazier with two outs. Frazier's 32nd home run. Jam him with a fastball, but he gets just enough of it to hit it through the hole in the left side of the infield. So 
They'll have to deal with the leadoff man now, Adam Eaton. Right to left, strike out, and a line out to right. He runs well. It'll be tough to double him up. White Sox 0 for 3 with runners in scoring position tonight. Yeah, it's been so good they haven't had many opportunities at all. It's only the second multi-hit inning tonight for Chicago. Mel Stoudemire Jr. Well, Felix waved out Zanino, and Mel was up out of his chair immediately. Sitting on 99 pitches. Just needs to make one more good one. One more good pitch, get at least an out, maybe two on a double play, and get him off the field, but. One more out, and if they need to, they can go to Diaz. Oh, he's used up all his time. Carapaz out there to Goosen. Diaz heating up in the bullpen. Priority right now is to get eaten. Two on, two on pitch. Swing and a miss. Excellent change up from Felix. 100 pitches, 65 strikes. Two on. Three and one. Tim Anderson's on deck. Quality pitch needed. And he gets it three and two. Well located fastball. On the outside corner at the knees. And he still has a good fastball, 92 miles an hour with a little bit of run to it. One out, two on. Three, two pitch to Eaton. Foul back. Felix working down in the zone, trying to get the ground ball. 93 on that fastball. Shuck and Saladino. Good speed on the base pass. Let's try to get out of trouble. One out and a 3 2 pitch coming up. He's throwing him a couple of fastballs. I wonder if he'll go to the changeup here. Maybe the biggest pitch of the ball game. 3 2 from Felix. Lost him. Bases loaded. Oh, thanks, Scott Service. Here he comes. Yeah. That's coming out to get his ace. Felix got into the eighth inning. There's one out, but the bases are loaded. White Sox threaten. It's 3 1 Mariners.
game, we focus on the King, Felix Hernandez. And they got Todd Frazier in a pickle here. That was a big out in the second inning. I think the most important thing for Felix, though, is he had excellent command tonight. Gets a check swing strikeout right there with the changeup down. Good fastball, throws it past Garcia. And then here it is again. See him limping a little bit. We thought maybe there was an issue early in the ball game with Felix in his leg. But able to catch a couple of base runners and his curveball by the third inning really had a good feel for that. And a little bit of defense helps out. Felix, two walks, struck out five. Runners his responsibility. Edwin Diaz on against Tim Anderson. And a big swing and a foul tip. Starts him with a slider, and I think that's a good idea. Try to get him in the strike zone right away. Again, he struggled a little bit. As you can see, he's 10 for 10 in his save opportunities. He's going to have to try to get five outs to pick up the save in this one. And in his last three outings, his fastball command has been difficult for him to throw strikes. Starts him with a slider, and there's a good fastball at 99 miles an hour. He doesn't have the luxury of starting this inning off. Bases are loaded. One of the bigger spots he's been in. He looks leaving with a 3-1 lead. One out, bases loaded. Jose Abreu is on deck. Diaz, the slow roller. Coming home. Got him. Nice oh, play. Valley. Outstanding. Wasn't sure where he was going to go with the ball. Was able to get to it quickly. Has tremendous speed. And throws a strike to home. And Chuck can get down the line. So this is an excellent play. That was a huge out. Wow. Two down. Base is still loaded. Got Saladino at third and the big boy, Jose Abreu. Popped it up. Might have room. He does have room. Out of the inning. Strand three in the eighth. And the Mariners have a 3 1 lead.
Still got some outs, some runs to get, and some outs to get here, Brad. Thank you very much as Robinson Cano. Going to lead it off, Cano, Cruz, and Zunino here in the ninth. That really was a great play by O'Malley. Did everything right. Charge it, had a, made a good throw, strong throw, accurate throw for Zanino to get that force. 2 0. Now Mike was set up on the inside part of the field to give him a throwing lane, and it was a perfect throw. Breaking ball for strike. Chris Sale in the meantime now at 112 pitches, 112, 80 strikes. Two pitch. Breaking ball, bounce, foul. Down a little bit of an angle. On Cano. We were talking about it at the beginning of the game, Dave, and he really has done a nice job of mixing up the speed on his fastball. He's also thrown his changeup more than we expected. He's had an excellent slider. It's been tough. Swing and a miss. Strikes out Cano for the third consecutive time. 13 strikeouts. Season best coming in was 10. And how about the Mariner dugout? Felix appreciates it. O'Malley getting high fives all up and down as well. He should. Zanino, big part. Uh, yeah, so, Mel Sotomayor, he's thrilled, and why not? They needed him to. Have a huge outing, and he really did. Just gives up the one solo home run to Frazier. Outside of that, really tied up the White Sox. And again, save the bullpen. Got Diaz now for the three outs in the ninth. Diaz had only threw four pitches in that eighth inning. Franklin Gutierrez, big contribution. Put the Mariners on the board, second inning. Broken 0 for 15. And a two out homer in the second. And Nelly is gone. Strikeout number 14. As I mentioned, season best prior to tonight was 10. He's at 14 now. 89 miles an hour, right on the outside corner. That formula getting to him early certainly has paid off. A run in the second, run in the third, run in the fourth. The Mariners have been hitless fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and so far here in the ninth. At one point, Sale rang up six consecutive strikeouts, striking out the side in the sixth and the seventh innings. He is now at 120 pitches. Is their horse? There's no doubt about that. Saladino going back, and that'll do it. All right, ninth inning. Electric Eddie D needs to get three outs here. Mariners get even this series at a game of peace.
I go the Mariners got just what they had hoped for tonight. Felix Hernandez get deep into a ball game and leave with the lead. Seven and a third, eight hits, just the one earned run. Again, the solo home run to Frazier. Two walks for Felix, five strikeouts. He threw 104 pitches, 67 of those for strikes. Oki going to take over in left field. But Gutierrez out of the ball game because already it will go from left to right. And Mr. Diaz has Morno leading off. Morno, Frazier, and Narvaez. Four, five, and six, middle of the order for the Sox. And good news for Diaz, he was able to get out of the eighth inning on just four pitches. Two and one. Morno tonight. Oh for three. Ground out, fly out, hit into a double play. Tied him up. Two and two. Todd Frazier on deck. He's accounted for the only White Sox run. His 32nd home run came in the seventh with two outs. 2-2 two, two to Morno. Diaz spin some kind of sensation. Working out of the Mariners bullpen. There's the closer. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. Jerry DePoto up here in the booth. Before the game, it's talking to him about Diaz. I like the fact that short burst as a closer, as a reliever, his ability to pump up that 99. And didn't happen. And now, with the development of the slider, thanks to Joaquin Benoit, you see how effective this young man has been. And they don't have to stretch it out over a long term in terms of going in and a ball game as a starter. Straight gas. Inside to Frazier 1 1. Cleveland leads Texas 7 1, bottom 7. Houston 3 3 now, bottom 8. Against Tampa Bay. Ball two strikes. All fastball so far to Frazier. The last one 98 just off the outside corner. Baltimore's lost 14 4 at the Yankees. Boston lost at home to Kansas City 6 3. Struck him out. 100 miles an hour on the outside corner, elevated fastball. Good luck. <laughs> you can understand why he was late on that last swing. Even if, you, even if you start to cheat a little bit, you can't. It's nothing you can do. Not when it's elevated at the top of the strike zone. Narvaez, one for three. There's a look at the standings. New look at the top. Toronto, now the East leader. Toronto, a 15 8 winner at home against Minnesota. Chance for the Mariners to move up. And they're in good shape right now. Eddie D's ahead. Oh, and two. Two outs. Nobody on. 3 1 Mariners. Diaz set. And the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The Mariners win it 3 to 1. Even the series at a game of peace and Mike, everything they asked for. The King, get me deep. Get some early runs against an ace sale and some fine defensive plays all work out tonight. No, you're absolutely right. Diaz having to get five outs to pick up the save, but Felix was outstanding tonight. And then Diaz 
ended up throwing 17 pitches 14 for strikes and the last one at 100 miles an hour to put it away a perfect 11 for 11 and save opportunities strikes out the side to end this ball game and Felix gets his first win here at U.S. Cellular since April 28 2009 good night all around for Mike Flowers I'm Dave Sims Mariners post game presented by Delta Airlines starts right now with Brad and Dave fellas.